Hello there and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, previously, where we was going on about how to create great intros for your videos, YouTube videos, or any sort of video as such uh, that you want, or you might just want an intro uh, for yourself personally. Um, but here we are, uh, last time as I say, I said that we'd be explaining on how to download it and put this into iMovie, so it's only a quick short video here. So, first off, you should have picked your uh, graphic or rendered video that you want from Panzoid. Once you've done that, do remember to click this icon here, so that means that it's in the correct toggle view. And then click play just to watch it, so we're just going to quickly watch this one. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and download it now that I've edited it. If you want to find out how to edit it, please do see my other video. Okay, so we're going to just click on start download now. Okay, and it could take a minute or two for this to download, so I'll see you in a second. So there's a minute left just uh, waiting for it to download now. Okay, so it's now ready to download. So if you just click the download your video, just as I explained in the previous video, and then that will bring it to your file. Okay. So now it's downloaded, what we need to do is to convert the actual format of the video. So we're going to just head off to another website just in a moment. Okay, so you need to just head on over to this website. So that's video.online-convert.com forward slash convert hyphen to hyphen p, sorry, mp4. Once you're on there, then you'll need to put in the file of where the location of that is, so I'm going to just do that just in a second. Okay, so you wasn't able to actually see where I've uh, got the video from because it doesn't show on the screen because of the settings that I've got on my recorder uh, for screen monitoring. So, but here you'll see that I've attached the video now. It says, just where it says choose file, uh, it says video 1 MKV. Okay, so if we scroll down the page, and then if we convert file, and then after that, that should be it. So now we've just got to wait for this to do. So this is step two in a sense, and I'll just wait for this to be done, and then I'll see you again in a second. Okay, so it's almost uh, done now. We're just waiting for the last bit just to be done, and then it should download automatically. Okay, so the conversion has now been completed. As you can see, you've got your 24 MB download file there. Uh, what you just need to do is just click download if it hasn't already. Um, but as I say, it's automatic downloading for myself here. Um, I do use other software as well, but this is just a quick and easy free tool that you can use. Okay, so one minute and I'll just get that loaded into iMovie. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so now that we've got iMovie open, what we need to do is click Create New as normal. And then we need to select Movie, which it hasn't shown on here, but it does show if you click it on yours. It should say Movie, Combine Videos, Photos and Music to make your own movie. Okay. So now you'll see it's loaded up like this. Okay, now what we need to do is grab our MP4 file. It was originally an MKV file, but now it's MP4. And drag and drop until, you, as you can see here now where the blue is. So what will happen is it'll just come into here. You drag and drop that there. Okay, and as you can see, that's now on there. Now to play it, what we'll do is we'll play here. <laughs> and that's your preview screen, okay. Now, what we're going to do is, if, say for instance, you wanted to add photos in or other intros as such, then you just do the following. So give us one second and I'll just show you, say for instance, another intro. So here's one of my other intros that I've just dragged and dropped on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just one of my other ones on as well, uh, which is this one here. Give us one second. Okay, so as you'll see, you'll see all of my ones on here. So if I just click play, you'll see the way they transition from one to another.
Okay, and then now if you wanted to say, for instance, it's the same process, just for adding any sort of photos, videos, or, or anything into here as such. But if you wanted to say, for instance, change uh, transitions. So if we go into transitions, if we want to say, for instance, between two videos, change it for a different type of opening or closing in between shots. Uh, what we'll do is this, just drag and drop. So drag and drop that there, just in between, as you'll see there. And then we'll just click here just before the video, just so you can see the transition. Okay, and then that's that one done. And then if we say, for instance, go to this one, we're just going to check the mosaic on here. I'm just picking just a random one, just to drag and drop on. Okay, so we'll just click just back a little, just so you can see it. Oh, I don't think that went on that time actually, so I'm going to have to do it again. Take two. We'll try and drag this one on. It's just a, a little bit by of the, the memory, I think, on it. There we go. As you can see, we've just added another transition on, so all's good. So now you know a little bit more about how I need maker. So we'll just try and get another one soon again for another tutorial. Um, I'll try and find something else to do, either on iMovie or Panzoid or something similar. So remember to like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also tick on the bell just for them notification and alerts to make sure that you stay tuned and stay up to date. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.